So here's Jedi69 flying across that track and getting into second place. He's your championship favourite for this season. Not much else I can say really. As he beats his past Geeky 30. He's making mincemeat of those Honda Civics. Three wide situation here. Three wide. Geeky stuck in the middle there. And Killer Candy. Diving down to the inside and scooping past. Even Jedi 69 couldn't get round that slow moving chicane known as Geeky 30. There's the two VWs. Also in green. And Jedi finally gets around in the background there. I'm sorry, but that was actually Judy Guard. Sorry for the insult, Judy Guard. I called you killer. My bad. Cars are coming around to this nice small corner. There's Wheezy versus Volo Knight One Twenty Eleven, who's been really helpful this season. Actually, very helpful, and looks like Wheezy doesn't want to give up in the position. He's fighting it. He's fighting it. You've got a nice, beautiful master behind. There's SC Sixty One. But look at Volo. He's coming around into this. I hate the corner, it's too long, but the 270 degree one I believe it is, I can't personally remember, but look at that, Rollo's all over his rear bumper, four wheel drive versus front wheel drive, the two German manufacturers batting it out, and Rollo gets it after a bit of tapping there, a bit of contact, nothing too major, a bit of, a bit of duct tape won't fix it. No, I mean duct tape will fix it. But look, Rollo's now falling in clutches of car into that Mazda. I believe it may be Carsten, I'd have to check. Yes, it's Carsten. DQ30 is falling down just out in case anyone's interested. And look at this, Rollo down to the inside, dust being thrown up. He gets passed on the straight, or does he? Into the inside to this small little corner, small little hairpin. He gets around and keeps. So we've got Jedi, Killer Candy, and Julie Guard, your top feed positions. Which one of these three will pit stop first as it, the pit window opens up to all the drivers on lap six? As we get to the pit, it looks like Jedi's pitted. Jedi 69 has pitted. Jedi 69, your first driver to pit. Looks like he's been looking a bit lonely in there. Being the other one in quite a distance to be there. As pit crew do their little thing. There's one of the, there's his teammate, Rollo Knight 1 2011, and there's a VW Golf. I can't tell which one it is. It's out of Wheezy or Skenji. As he pops out right behind one of the Honda Civics, or both of them even. Rough day for him. Geek 30 was complaining about summing up with car people. And look at Jedi. He jumps across, cutting the corner. Nothing major. We won't give him a walloping for that. But yes, at three wide. It looks like three wide for a moment then. And yet yeah, he's trying to get past this solo traffic. He's got a championship to win. And he just finds a way through and lets him battle on with really nearly. Killer Candy pits, but look how far away he is from Jedi 69 and Lap 8. See that little dot? Just gone around that little blue dot. That's Jedi. Killer Candy's got his work cut out and he's also got his teammate wiggling around a bit in front of SC61. He's obviously been holding him up a bit, but look at this B Bay boys working together to try and catch that blue speck. We have Skenderji trying to catch up to Rollo Knight 1 2011. They were battling earlier and it looks like they, he's got his work cut out for him just to. Around this mighty, that chicane's, why is it there? That's what, all the job, well, that's what I think. As we've got someone pitting, that's obviously one of the Civics. And look at this. 
starting around. So that nine, the eBay boys. Looks like Gilligard's drifting. Woo! Drifting and Killer Candy just up in front. Looks like we're having a bit of a battle there, actually. I'm going. I wonder if it's going to be like little Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber moment where they hit each other. Although you shouldn't be thinking of anything like that, but it doesn't look like Team Orders is part of their strategy t today. Bit of wobbling, these rear wheel drive cars, not the easiest things to control. As they come out, this is the, no, this is the last corner, I don't, pass. yeah, it looks like they spaced out a bit, stretch their legs. And look at this, Julie Guard right behind, he's caught him up a bit better. Yeah, they were vegan on that earlier, I'll promise you that. And look, he's... Julie Guard isn't kinging off, he's just hanging in there trying to... ...stab the, um, heck it out of the, the car head, his teammate, ironically. And look... Pushing a bit wide up with the bumper, it looks like. Mirror image of the last lap, it looks like. Oh wait, Julie Guard's actually. Can he make it round? That's what I'm. That's what we're watching, okay? Just. Let's forget about Jedi, because he's pretty much won the race now, hasn't he? SBI. And look at this, rubbing, rubbing. As you can see, the team in the pit lane. Getting out the duct tape, they're expecting a bit of body damage at the end of this. As, wow, Killer Candy darting around a bit. And the, now this is the one chance that Julie Guard's got to overtake. He can take around the inside, or it's one of them. <coughs> No, it looks like he didn't get that. As we see, Carsten and Wheezy. We haven't seen much of these guys this race. Carsten obviously was in that red Volvo previously, which he hated. Then again, who likes a Volvo? Um, the Mazda looking much beautiful, and it's an FF car, I believe. Tough. Can't quote me on that, but... Yes, Wheezy's up ahead, and it looks like Carsten is engaged in battle with him, trying... To catch him, trying to munch away that German little nippy little car thing. As we under braking, he goes a bit wide, tucks it in nicely, finds the gap, and can't emphasize on it if you know what I mean. As we go around this mad little chicane, other little mad chicane. And longest sweeping corner quickly. And is he going to overtake at all? Looks like he will. Looks like he's trying. He's found the gap. He's pushing him. He's, yep, he's got around. And that's pretty much how you overtake little boys and girls out there. What you do, you find a gap. You put your car there. Everything that happens after that is none of your business. And looks like he's blocking, and looks like we see he's trying to get around, taking my advice, but obviously can't. So your winner was, in fact, Jedi69, there's a lap to Geeky30, dreadful race, he didn't really want much else, but um, interesting fact about the eBay BMW, so BMW. So here's the result, Jedi 69, Julie Guard actually did overtake Killer Candy. Don't know how, don't know where, but he did. Follow 91 2011, puts the Aldi's very high up. Um, Sken, Skenshi, 5th, Carsten Blue, 6th, Wheezy, 7th, SE61, JGW, 8th, and Geeky 39th. Swash's weekend for the Hondas. Let's hope they can pick up for season four. As for the fastest app, well, you can see it on the right. It's um, Julie Guard in eBay BMW.
That was race one here at the Autumn Ring. I hopefully I might be able to do race two. So that'll be your little Christmas present, everyone out there. Because it's December over here in the UK and I don't know if it's the same everywhere else. But anyway, thank you for watching. My little highlights. And see you soon.